Mercedes users are badasses. The new Mercedes EQS is the greatest example of consumer power in the current world. The previous model of the EQS had many bugs that did not sit well with Mercedes buyers, and it was supposed to be the electric S-Class. Many complained about how it lacked many qualities synonymous with the S-Class range. Mercedes has upgraded the EQS with this new model, and the big question is, how is the new model better than the last? Want to find out? Join us as we take you through an epic adventure of Mercedes's latest classy EQS EV. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. The first thing you notice when you look at the all-new EQS from the front is the Mercedes-Benz raised bonnet star, which has been slowly coming back into all Mercedes vehicles. The EQS gets the standard front, as in the electric art line, but only the AMG line will still get the star here inside the grille without the standing star. The grille itself is the standard grille you get on other Mercedes this year. So, compared to the 2024 EQS, the new grille now has vertical lines. The EQS has kept its iconic raindrop design to maximize battery efficiency through aerodynamics. It cuts through the air like a hot knife through butter. That's much we can be sure about. Although there are questions about the car's look, it does seem that Mercedes has managed to make the EQS look uglier. However, there is still a lack of frunk space in the EQS, and the front still houses the air purification system, which is similar to the previous generation. The side look of the car brings into view the sleek body design, which helps with aerodynamics. The massive 22-inch wheels on the EQS are just beautiful, and the rear wheels still come with rear wheel steering. The back of the car has magnificent taillights. The trunk on the EQS is massive, which compensates for the lack of front storage. However, because the rear seats cannot fold in, you don't get the extra space that would have been provided. Interior looks like Mercedes is closer to its goal of truly making the EQS the electric S-Class. The interior of the EQS, for the first time, screams S-Class. Before we talk about the interior fully, let us talk about the infotainment system, which is the most prominent aspect of the EQS interior. The hyperscreen infotainment system is standard in all EQS versions, and the EQS SUV. Before, you could opt for a basic setup with a vertical screen, but now, screens everywhere. Oh, and there's also this incredible passenger screen too. Is that passenger screen super handy? Well, that's up for debate, but it is surely an eye-catching feature. The temperature controls stay in the lower section, which is a relief as you don't have buttons around. The infotainment system is lightning fast and super responsive to use. Easy peasy. Entering into the EQS gives you a luxurious feeling. From the high-end finishes to the Hey Mercedes feature that allows you to control the car like a boss, we can guarantee you feel relaxed as soon as you get in. Six USB-C ports are scattered throughout the cabin for all your charging needs, while Burmester audio fills the air with crisp sound. The ambient lighting placed all around the car allows for some mesmerizing displays that make the car appear bigger than it is from the inside. From the entry-level EQS 450 Plus onwards, you're treated to a feast of tech wrapped in premium comfort. LED headlights, air suspension, and a panoramic roof are just the beginning. Navigation gets a futuristic upgrade with augmented video overlays. Stay connected effortlessly with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Plus, features like cabin climate preconditioning, adaptive cruise control, and active park assistance take convenience to a whole new level. The back seats of the 2025 EQS are the definition of luxury with enhanced rear comfort features. There is the EQS Top Trim Executive Interior Package, which offers enhanced and luxurious comfort, including a foldable front passenger seat, an adjustable rear seat backrest capable of tilting up to 38 degrees, rapid rear seat heating and cooling, and pneumatic rear seat depth adjustment. The exact number of versions to be produced has not yet been confirmed, but here are some versions that have been confirmed for production, along with each's performance ratings. The EQS 580 is at the top of the list, and Mercedes said it will be an all-wheel drive trim. There will be options to give the buyers choices on the drivetrain, so you can get the rear drive model, which is the EQS 350. It comes with the smallest battery and would probably be the cheapest base model. The EQS 580 will not be the only all-wheel drive model. It is expected to be accompanied by the 454 Matic and the 500. We all know the battery performance on EVs is not always what is usually boasted about. 
Battery performance really comes down to your use, usage patterns, especially considering the seasons. Still, this vehicle boasts one of the most impressive ranges out there. However, there's been a big issue with the pre-facelift models, such as the winter range. Mercedes EV customers have been saying for ages that there is a need for a heat pump. However, Mercedes was hesitant, thinking maybe the residual heat from the electronics would suffice. Turns out consumers were right. And finally, a couple of years later, Mercedes saw the light and introduced it with the EQE SUV. Now with the update, even the EQS, we are really forced to ask if this is really just a facelift of a current model or a new model entirely. Well, our thoughts aside, it's got some game-changing tweaks. A standard heat pump means no more winter range anxiety, as was the case previously when it was like driving with half the range in the cold. So what about the charging? Piece of cake. Up to 170 kilowatts peak for the small battery and a whopping 200 kilowatts peak DC for the big battery. With the electric charging flap, the big battery goes from 10% to 80% in just 31 minutes. Oh, and about acceleration. The rear-wheel drive model clocks in at 6.7 seconds, while the 584 Matic? Hold on to your seat. It's a lightning-fast 4.4 seconds. Is that not enough? Do you want even more speed? Mercedes is teaming up with AMG to create the EQS AMG version. Performance. Now that you know the versions of the EQS to expect, let's break down the power behind the EQS lineup. The EQS 450 Plus packs a punch with a single motor on the rear axle, dishing out 335 horsepower and 419 pound-feet of torque. The single electric motor pushes the car from 2 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. Upgrading to the EQS 454 Matic gets you an added electric motor on the front axle, bringing all-wheel drive into play. While horsepower remains at 335, torque skyrockets to 590 pound-feet. Stepping up to the EQS 584 Matic, you're looking at a combined 516 horsepower and 611 pound-feet of torque. They both combine to make the car hit 60 miles per hour from 0 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds. No matter the model, every EQS glides on an adaptive air suspension coupled with wheels ranging from 19 to 21 inches. But here's where things get interesting. There is a standard rear axle steering, angling those rear wheels by up to 10 degrees. What does this mean? Tighter turns and enhanced stability, especially given the EQS's substantial length, just a hair shorter than a Chevy Tahoe. Speaking of maneuverability, this luxury sedan knows how to navigate tight spots with finesse, thanks to its rear wheel steering feature. And when it comes to the ride quality, the EQS delivers a lot, offering the serene tranquility you'd expect from a flagship electric Mercedes. Pricing. In 2025, the Mercedes-Benz EQS is anticipated to hit the market with a starting price of around $106,000, climbing up to $137,000 depending on the chosen trim and additional options. With three models, three powertrains, and three trim levels on offer, the EQS sedan provides ample variety for discerning buyers. For those seeking a top-notch experience, we recommend the EQS 454 Matic in the Pinnacle trim. This sedan is a luxurious haven, brimming with features that cater to comfort, convenience, and safety. From opulent rear headrests adorned with plush pillow toppers to advanced safety systems, no detail is overlooked. This latest model boasts 335 horsepower, aligning with the rear-wheel drive variant, but with an added motor that elevates torque to an impressive 590 pound-feet. Despite its all-wheel drive configuration, the estimated range is only marginally less than its rear-wheel drive counterpart. The introduction of the intelligent disconnect feature may further narrow this gap, promising an efficient and dynamic driving experience. The 2025 EQS emerges as Mercedes-Benz's electric answer to luxury, rivaling its S-Class predecessor with opulence wrapped in softly curved contours. Whether opting for rear-wheel or all-wheel drive, drivers can tailor the EQS to prioritize range or unleash up to 516 horsepower for exhilarating acceleration. Mercedes has promised many life-changing features in this EQS that will revolutionize the EV landscape. Some of these features would make range anxiety a thing of the past for the EQS. If Mercedes could pull this off, EVs all over the world might just have a fighting chance after all.
Will you purchase any of the EQS models? Let us know your decision in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel.